Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. It's the end of a big old day for me. Excuse me, just had a lovely beer. It's bedtime, I can feel it creeping up on me. But I'm gonna have one more beer tonight. This is the bitter end. From Two Brothers Brewing Company, Warrenville, Illinois. So, let's see what we got here. This comes in at 5.2 alcohol by volume. Pale Ale. Um, this American Pale Ale has a, I don't care what it has. At the end of every glass you will discover how the Pale Ale got its name. So I'm expecting it to be pretty much a bitter end. Here's the cap. Two brothers cap. Cool stuff. So far I really enjoy their brewery. Really enjoy the ales that I've had from them. Check out what it looks like. A little bit of haze still, a little bit of hop haze, but a very nice kind of a dark golden, almost an amber kind of coloration. Nice big frothy head. Mmm. There, you know, for the bitter end, it's got a lovely malt smell to it. Almost a hint of vanilla, kind of, kind of a malty sweetness. I think it is what it is, it's sometimes it's some of the like more floral hops kind of blending together with the malt, give it, give, giving it that kind of sweetness to it, but, but it does smell very nice. Cheers. The initial snip sip, rather. It's not that bitter. It's very smooth and mellow. Tasty though. Very there's a nice residual malt base to it. Goes down really smooth. Definitely chuggable so far. in your mouth and you get more of that kind of bittering quality from the hops. But really if you just whoop, I don't know if you even notice it. That the more it sits, the more I talk about it, the more I can feel kind of that bitterness in the mouth. You get kind of a, a cereal grain quality to it a little bit. Or at least spent grain, that kind of Green grain, you have a little bit of that grain taste in your mouth too. There we go. I don't know how or why, the more you get into it, the bitter it becomes. The more bitter it becomes. I think it just kind of awakens the senses just a little bit to it because first it's so subtle and then you pick up on it as you go because it's only 30 IBUs. That really isn't that much. So, let's see. I'm falling asleep just talking to you. I'm, I'm beat. So that's good. That means I will sleep well. It's not really big though. There's not any big characteristics or there's not a big malt base or a big IBU or a big hop presence. Everything's very sessional, very easy to drink. But that being said, it's very enjoyable. It's well done. It's enjoyable to drink. So that goes hand in hand. I think this would be a lovely. I don't know. Not a lot of people say this about pale ales, but I think this would be a lovely barbecue ale. Definitely. I think, uh, like for instance, two brothers. If you just go back down the list um, that I know of, which I need more two brothers stuff, but the bitter end, Cain Abel, uh, Domaine Dupai, Dupage, Dupage, Dupay. Page, DuPage, um, all three of them 
simply just outstandingly easy to drink and enjoyable while you do it. So all three of them would be great. Barbecuing, barn firing, have fun, excellent stuff. I'm gonna give this one a solid eight. Solid eight out of ten for me. It's been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers. I'm going to bed.